think that this vocab question is just really hard because the word becoming is such a common word. And it also is a common word that doesn't really have like a lot of meaning. You know, we use it a lot, but we don't, we wouldn't be able to define it very well. Um, and then we're thrown this version of it, which is not the normal way we would talk about it. This is very like an old fashioned way of using the word becoming. Now, the answer spits with it, so what, what should we do? Well, we should follow the QLC method, which means we're not supposed to look at those answer choices before we look at the lines, right? So question, line reference, choices. So we know we want the word becoming, we go to that line, and we try to read for context, we try to figure out what it might mean based on the context before we look at the choices. So what does it say? The young man had never for one second deserted Mr. Peters. He was always there tugging at Mr. Peters' elbow, making him do things that were not becoming in a man of 45. So I get that if you don't know what that word means, that, that whole sentence isn't going to make a lot of sense, but you try to squeeze as much meaning out of it as you can. And a lot of times just getting relationships is helpful. So in this case, they're talking about a young man and a man of 45. Now, I don't think 45 is old. I'm not there yet, but... I hope that I'm not old at 45, but for the purposes of this passage, that's what they're trying to say, is there's a little bit of contrast here between the young man and the old 45-year-old. So we're, we're saying something bad, I guess, is, is, is happening here. Uh, and so I, don't, I would try the best I can to guess what this word means before I look at the choices. Now, I, I, I don't know, if I didn't know what it meant, I don't know how I would, whether I'd be able to figure it out. And I think that that's the challenge for me right here is I can't get the right answer out of my brain to help you. So my thought is, is that there's some sort of problem. It's not making him do things that were not good, right? Not good in a man of 45. Maybe that's a stretch, but it, hopefully you can kind of get something like that. So now we go to the choices. We say, well, what matches with that? Well, emerging is may, maybe more of our common understanding of the word becoming. Something is becoming larger, whatever it's, it's coming about. It's growing. So that doesn't work. That's not really matching this. Uh, fitting. The challenge here is that's another word that has a much more common definition, right? Clothes fit. They, they, you know, they're good for you. Uh, this is a similar meaning to that. If something is fitting, it's it's proper. It it it. The behavior in this case fits him, or it doesn't fit him, right? The the behavior of a young man does not fit, does not match with the behavior of what a 45-year-old man should be doing, right? So there's a mismatch. It's not fitting. It's not matched. That's the answer. <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense, but that's what they're going for here. The other ones we tried to plug them in also would kind of just seem a little weird, uh, making him do things that were not developing in a man of 45. Well... That's another common definition of the word becoming, but nothing is developing, nothing is growing. It, that, that concept there is just misplaced. And not happening in a man of 45, I get why that might be tempting. But the point is, it is happening, right? He is doing these things. And so it's happening, but it's not good that it's happening because it, he's not behaving the way he should. He's not behaving in a way that befits a man of 45. Hopefully that helped. Occasionally we just hit these rough vocab questions. However, most of the time the vocab questions are on the easier side. And so if you were running out of time, this would you know apply more at the end of a passage, but if you were running out of time, these are the questions you'd want to target because they're quick and they're easy and you can rack up some points if you can't get to the rest of the, the last passage. So don't let this one sour you on vocab. Usually they're much easier than this. This is just a couple of weird words that we're not used to, but uh, they do have, this is a more old-timey, you know, definition of these words. So if you read more old books, you're more likely to see stuff like this and be comfortable with it. So always read more. It helps.